In this video, I'm gonna talk about bags and boards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about bags and boards. Now, I'm not someone who is an expert in this category, but over the years that I've been collecting, you know, I have learned a few things about bags and boards, and I certainly have my preferences when it comes to my own comic books of what I like to use uh, for different reasons. So in this video, I'm gonna get into that, and hopefully, you know, you guys might learn a thing about it, or at least, you know, uh, see what, what I like to do and that might help you, you know, inform you for what you guys want to do with your bags and boards. But before I can get into that, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying my content, love interacting with you guys. Let's keep this conversation going. All right. With that being said, uh, the two things that I wanted to talk to you about today are the polypropylene bags and mylars. Those are the two that I use uh, typically for basically every, every comic book that I own. And uh, I, I kind of wanted to get into, you know, what some of the pros and the cons are with them. Um, it's, this isn't really a video that, you know, I'm I'm going to tell you or it, of what brand to use or I'm going to endorse a certain brand. I just happen to use the brands that my LCS sells and since I buy it from them, granted I know I could probably get it cheaper online but I like to support my local LCS. Uh, so what I get from them is typically what I use. So uh, let's get into the Mylars first because this is uh, what I think is the best not just from an aesthetic uh, uh, purpose but also from a, you know, uh, protective purpose as well. So uh, these are the two bags that I typically tend to use when it comes to Mylars, and that's gonna be the Mylite 2s. Here you have one that is a Mylite 2, and this one is a standard comic book size. I know it's a little bit bright. And then you have another one here that is a Mylar 2, and this is a current comic book size. And what typically what I like about these bags is, is they say that these specific Mylar bags will outlast your comic book. That's how um, that's how much they are in terms uh, or work in terms of like protecting the comic book and uh, you know how long they they will go out uh, to you know restore or, or keep keep preserve excuse me preserve preserve the comic book uh, from for many many years to come. And here here's here's a comic book that I have that is in a Mylar bag, and I just wanted to show you guys in case you didn't see it. So this is a old Doctor Strange uh, one seventy that I have, and actually uh, sidebar. Do you guys know, is this the first cover of Nightmare and his horse? I think that it is. And, you know, this is not a book that anyone's talked about, but I feel like if you're a Nightmare fan out there, this is a great book to own. Anyways, that, that aside. So this is a Doctor Strange 170 I have in a Mylar bag. And as you can see, like, you can see what the Mylar bag does to this. It, it keeps it super tight. You know, it has that tight feel. It has that pop, that shine. And, and it just has like a glossy look that it gives to the comic book. And this is why I like using Mylar bags so much. I mean, I'm not someone that has, you know, CGCs. So when it comes to like presentation, as you can see, I have a bunch of comic books behind my head and all of them are in Mylar bags and they really give that like nice presentation look. This is in contrast to say a bag that's in a uh, polypropylene bag. And you can see here, um, still nice, still clear, but doesn't quite have the same, you know, tightness and pop to it. Uh, so when it comes to like, you know, having a book that is on the wall in the background and being presented, nothing is going to beat the Mylar bag. And, and that's, that's really why I like using these so much. And I think that, the, it, you know, it's, it's just, it's just great when it comes to aesthetics. Not only that, this, these, these bags, typically speaking, are going to last much, much, much longer than the polypropylene bags that you would have or you would find on most comic books. Now, what is the con of this? The con is that these are slightly more expensive. I mean, actually, I say slightly, these are more expensive. Uh, you know, so it, it is one of those things where it's like, I, I actually use both. Like, I mean, I would love to put, you know, all of my comic books in Mylar bags and maybe over time as I continue to buy more, uh, I will make my collection turn into a full Mylar collection. But, you know, it, it, they are more expensive and uh, you know you just don't need them for every single comic book especially if you have like you know massive runs and massive fills or like one dollar comic books you know that, that are that are really cheap like technically speaking like the, the the mylar bag is actually almost even more expensive than some of the comic books you might have so uh, I, I can understand why you wouldn't want to use mylar bags for everything um, that said, let us also talk about what board I use in this Mylar bag. And one of the things that I like to use when I'm presenting, um, especially if they're hanging on the wall like that, is I use what is called a full back. Now, a full back is a backing board. Here you see it right here. Uh, this is to be like, you know, this is something I usually buy together. So I buy the MyLite 2 standard size. Standard size is a size that covers Silver Age books. Um, so I use the standard size with the MyLite, and I use the standard size full back. 
And uh, what I like about these, these boards is that they're very, very thick. They're very, very thick and very, very uh, sturdy. So that's really nice when it comes to like presentation of the book. So when I have, you know, here in this Doctor Strange, I have the, the, the backing board behind it. And when I put it on the wall behind me, it, it gives it that really firm, um, firm feel, firm presentation. So that's really, really nice because obviously if I'm displaying them, I want those comic books to pop as opposed to what I'll get into later, which is like, this is a typical uh, sort of soft white uh, backing board. You know, this has a little bit of bend, has a little bit of flimsiness to it. So that if I were to stand it on the wall like that, you, you would actually see it shrink a little bit, you know, because because the board would have give versus these fullbacks, they do not have give. Now, there are a lot of people that will take like maybe three uh, you know, regular backing boards and like shove them in the Mylar bag or they'll, they'll take a, you know, stack of them and shove them in. That's something you can certainly do. You can like, you, you can make your own fullback. But, you know, for me, as far as like clean aesthetics, I just want one in there. I just want to put the one fullback in, you know, have the right sizes and, and just put it in there. And then that's all I have to worry about. And it just helps me with my OCD. All right. Uh, so with that being said, also too, like, you know, this is a good way, way for me to segue to uh, getting the right and proper sizes for your comic books is really, really important when it comes to aesthetics. Like, so let me show you here. Again, I have this Doctor Strange right here. It is, this is a Silver Age comic book. So it is a little bit bigger than, you know, modern comic books. That's something, something to remember. So when you buy uh, Mylar bags for Silver Age books, you want to get a, uh, a, the size called standard is what you want. And then if you are buying it for modern books, you wanna get a size called current. So standard, current. And then there's golden age, if you have golden age comic books, but, but I don't have any, so we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so uh, with that being said, I still do a fullback that is also a standard fullback inside of here. And what I like about it is that the the bag, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but the, the board actually like frames the comic book. So you have this nice contrast where you have the comic book, then you see like the edges of the white board, and then you see the edges of the Mylar bag at the end here. Now, here is a, comic book that I put inside, uh, I, I put a modern, a current size fullback in there, meaning that this is a fullback that is made for, you know, the, the smaller, newer comic books. And here I have an Avengers 71. Now this should have a standard size board behind it, but because I put the, the, the current board, I mean, certainly you can do that. Like if you want to economically save money and have like standard boards or, or sorry, have current boards for everything, like all your silver age and all your modern. So you only have to buy one. You could do that. But, uh, just from an aesthetic uh, point of view, you can see here that like, you know, the, the board is actually hidden behind the comic book. So right here on the edges, you can see that there's just a clear space right here. You see no white around it. You see no white here. Uh, that might be something that you guys like, but you know, for me personally, I think seeing the white edge around the board, not only like, do I feel like it gives it a little bit more support, but it also just gives the bag a fuller feeling, which I think is really, really nice. It's like having, uh, you know, if you guys know like tailored clothes or fitted clothes, like you want your clothes to be perfectly fitted to you. And that's going to give you the best like aesthetics when it comes to like looking fit and looking skinny, et cetera, et cetera. So again, those are the Mylar bags. And then here, just, just to show you guys, this is a, you know, Secret Wars this is more of a modern comic book. You can see the size difference here. If I put these, uh, side by side, you see that the, uh, you can see right there, the, the Doctor Strange book is that much bigger than the uh, more modern book. So, so make sure that when you are buying these things and you want to put them in Mylar bags, you are buying the right sizes. Uh, and I think that, that that'll uh, segue nicely here to now the pro, the polypropylene bags, right? So polypropylene are a, a cheaper bag. Uh, there is also polyurethane, you're really feeling can't even say it, but I'm not going to talk about those because typically speaking now, basically like 75, 80% of the, the bags that you're going to buy are polypropylene at this point because uh, they just look cleaner. So, so what are some of the, the, the cons or the pros with them? Well, they're going to be cheaper. And these are typically speaking going to be the, you know, typical uh, comic book bags that you, you know, would think of when you're thinking of comic books. Uh, and so one thing that's cool about these is uh, they are cheaper. They fit very, very nicely. I'll show you which brand I use. But, but one of the drawbacks is what, what they say is that these typically speaking only last around three to five years. Um, I've kept mine in there for, for longer and I've had, you know, some success or like, you know, they haven't aged or, or 
turn bad in any sort of way. But I'm also someone who, you know, I get rid of a lot of old books that I no longer care for. So I'm always sort of like switching them out and everything like that. Uh, the one thing you can see here is when I first put this comic book in this bag, which is about probably two and a half years ago, this was like super tight and super, super clean. And you can see here from like the ripples, you can see that the the, the bag is starting to wear. You can see like the waviness, right? Uh, and that is that is something typical of the polypropylene bags. You can see right here, uh, this dark hawk, you see all those ripples and those waves catching the light here. That is because the bag over time eventually deteriorates. And that's just something that, you know, comes with the territory of like having bags like this, you know, you're, you're, you're buying cheaper and therefore they don't last as long as the Mylar stuff. Um, but again, you know, it's just, that's just some of the trade-off. And let me get into, uh, you know, some stuff online. I can show you guys really quick. These are the, the, the bags and boards that I buy. It's a brand called Comic Care. Uh, again, I, I don't really know if these are the best ones. These are just the ones that my LCS happens to carry. So I just buy them. They work for me. Uh, I think they look nice. And uh, these typically speaking, I, you know, at my LCS, I have to pay a little bit more, but you know, a, a, a thing of a hundred is going to cost you like 20 bucks. Usually you might be able to find better deals. Uh, so this is one that, you know, you can see here, the size is called current right here. And what I like about having current uh, comic book bags and boards. Here's the, here's the board equivalent. Uh, they're white boards, virgin white boards, uh, current. What I like about having this size is that they fit very, very, very snugly on new comic books. And I think that is something really important. Uh, I'm sure you guys are, are, let me just show you an example here, right? This is why I think it's so important to buy the right fitted size for your comic books. So here's a King in Black in a in a the common care bag and it's to a, to a whiteboard and this is all current so it's fitted you know very very nicely you can see the edges are just big enough to cover the bag now here is uh, something that is inside of a silver age uh, made for a silver age comic book and you can see right here like this thing just has massive massive wings on it and you know if you end up with a bag like like this like to me that looks terrible that looks that looks so awful that like you have all this this negative space over here. And, you know, I, I think for me personally, when it comes to aesthetics, I want my bags to fit like perfectly. So uh, this is something that, you know, again, I would recommend to you guys getting the current versus the standard sizes, knowing which ones that you want for your comic books is, is really, really important. So anyways, those are the bags that I use. Again, you know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in Mylars. If you guys, you know, have that in your budget and you can afford to, you know, put them in your, in your, um, uh, in, on your comic books, uh, you're going to love the way they look. You're going to love the presentation. Uh, and, and also they're going to be the, the most, um, you know, preserving of all of the bags that you could possibly get. Uh, one other little drawback though, with the Mylar bags, just to throw it in there, I do find them a little bit harder to like handle. Like if you're someone who like wants to like take your bag, uh, take the comic out and read it and flip through it and all that sort of stuff. Like to me, taking them out of the Mylar bag is a little more annoying than taking them out of a bag like this, you know, where they just, they just slide out of this, the Mylar bag, you know, it's super tight. I have to like pull it off and then, you know, it's, it's, it's very taut when I pull the comic out again, little minor thing, but just something I thought I would throw at you guys. Anyways, that is all I got for this video. Hopefully you guys found that helpful or informative. Let me know if you guys have any, you know, uh, brands or bags or brands, brands of boards that you really, really like or prefer. Uh, what do you guys use? Let me know in the comment section, uh, drop me a like, comment or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.